Hey everyone, my name is Rob. This is my YouTube channel called The Movie Vault. Let's talk about movies. Before we get into the main video today, I just wanted to mention, if you're not aware, I've set up a Patreon account. So if you're interested in seeing more content, bonus content, exclusive content that isn't featured here on the main YouTube channel, The Movie Vault, do consider subscribing to my Patreon account. There is three affordable tiers. Link is always in the description of the videos. There's also a link to my t-shirt store if you wanna help support the movie vault. Let's get into the video. Hey everyone, great to see you back here on the channel today. Thanks for joining me. Today, I wanted to kind of spotlight this new release that I got sent to review here from the Australian company Via Vision. This is Carol Baker, the Paramount Collection. This is a four movie DVD set and it's absolutely fantastic. I just finished watching the four of these movies. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this release today. Let's quickly take a look at the presentation here. This is a four movie, a four disc set, as I mentioned there. Um, you have the uh, Australian writing stuff on the front. You have a really nice picture, Carol Baker here. Uh, I like the font and stuff, really classy, really nicely done. Colors are nice. On the back, you just have the four movies and all the usual info you would expect. And inside, uh, let me just flip these discs around. They have done the just plain black discs. I really like it, black and white. And you have the logos of the movies there. And the final two. And if I quickly take out the slip, you have all the credits for the movies there and they're just kind of advertising some Sophia Loren collections that they also have as well. Really nicely done because Via Vision could have just stuck these four movies onto like one disc, one DVD disc, like two DVD discs and stuck it into like, you know, one case. But instead they've opted for quality and given each movie its own disc. The movies have room to breathe on the discs in there. You know, they do look good on DVD, really nicely done by Via Vision here. I'm just going to talk about each movie individually here. So uh, I was kind of interested in Carol Baker. I kind of came across her through uh, an Italian Giallo movie I have here in the collection called Paranoia that I bought a while back and I kind of looked her up after I watched the movie and kind of found out she was this kind of, you know, on the rise kind of Hollywood star and then it all kind of went on its side and she kind of moved to Italy for like 10 years to kind of make uh, some Italian giallo, Italian horror movies for a while and then came back to Hollywood. It was her, her kind of story really interested me. So when Via Vision sent out the press release that the Carol Baker Paramount Collection set was coming out, I had to jump on this and get, get a hold of this one. Really awesome. There is four movies in this set, as I mentioned here. It's kind of 1959 to 1965, kind of, you know, uh, you can kind of, field she's on the rise carol baker watching these movies and she kind of leaves hollywood in 66 over like a contract dispute and moves to italy as i mentioned so let's talk about each of the movies in this set here first movie up in the set here is but not for me 1959 so let me just give you a quick description off the back here an aging somewhat successful broadway producer meets his match in a troubled production a young secretary in love an alcoholic playwright and a meddling ex-wife as he tries to prove he is not getting old really interesting 59 as i said directed by walter lang carol baker of course is in there that uh, aging producer is played by clark gable really interesting lily palmer plays the meddling ex-wife and lee j cobb plays the alcoholic playwright i really like lee j cobb in this one uh, fantastic stuff there uh, technical info about this one 105 minutes long 185 to 1 aspect ratio dolby digital 2 channel stereo on this i will mention this is an ntsc disc but it plays fine on my uh, pal region 2 uh, player over here in ireland and um, this is a black and white movie good transfer looks good in here uh, the title song is written by George Gershwin and actually sung by Ella Fitzgerald which is really really interesting um, I thought that was quite quite interesting you know old school they have this song is like the title of the movie but not for me uh, really really cool and um, cast is good Clark Gable's kind of at the end of his career you know kind of he's hitting there Carol uh, Carol Baker's on the rise uh, really interesting um, and as I mentioned, Lee J. Cobb and Lily Palmer are, are quite good in their roles in this one as well. Nice lighthearted film. Um, 
you know the younger older man in love and uh that's kind of that's kind of <laughs> what i could say about this one i don't want to spoil it in case you guys haven't seen it but yeah yeah that's the first one up here in the set second movie up here is called sylvia from 1965 so again i'll just read off the back here to give you guys an idea lovely sylvia west lives quietly with her flowers and her books until her millionaire fiance assigns macklin a private detective to investigate her past sylvia becomes less and at the same time more real to him as he uncovers an unsavory past really interesting directed by gordon douglas who is going to direct two movies in this uh, carol baker set here stars carol baker of course george maharis joanne drew and peter lawford is in this one uh, technical info on this 115 minutes 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio dolby 2 channel stereo ntsc again plays fine on my player here black and white picture um <clears throat> I will say quality looks good on this one. There is some kind of blurred shots at the end of the movie, um, which I guess is just, you know, that's that's just how the movie is. There's not an awful lot we can do about that here in this set. But um, yeah, this is an interesting one. So uh, Carol Baker plays Sylvia West, who is this kind of mysterious. She kind of grows flowers, enters flower shows. She's a poet, she has a poetry book and her millionaire fiance play, played by Peter Lawford kind of sends this, uh, private detective Macklin who's played by George Maharis to investigate her past and um, there is some like heavy heavy content in this movie it's a complete change from but not for me like there's like two kind of rape sexual assault scenes in it although they're not like shown or anything like that it's pretty kind of shocking for 1965 um you know, and I kind of what I found interesting as well is the Macklin, the private detective, gone around looking, looking to f kind of find Sylvia, like Carol Baker's character. He just kind of randomly walks into schools and and libraries, saying, "Oh, I'm looking for somebody called Sylvia," and they're all very helpful. Like, yeah, oh, I looked it up for you now. Which is like, can you imagine doing that now, walking into a school and saying, "I'm looking for this kid called it was such a name," uh, crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff. Um, yeah, a very different character for Carol Baker from the first movie, as I mentioned. But you can kind of see she's uh, she's grown, and um, her career has grown. And um, yeah, interesting one, Sylvia. Here is the next one up. Third movie in the set, another 1965 movie, The Carpetbaggers. Really interesting this one. Let me once again just read off of here for you guys. Inheriting his father's explosives company, young tycoon Jonas Cord's rise to power is ruthless as he adds a Hollywood studio to his empire and morphs his stepmother into a self-destructive starlet. That's a quick kind of, or I would say brief plot description of The Carpetbaggers 1965. This is directed by Edward Dmitrich. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, of course, stars Carol Baker. George Papard is in here. There I know from the A-Team when I was a kid. We also have Alan Ladd, Bob Cummings, Elizabeth Ashley and Marta Hoyer. Um, 150 minutes, this one. Two and a half hours. It's, 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 a, it's a lengthy one, this one. 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. There is, interestingly enough, there is two audio tracks on this. Dolby Digital 5.1 and a 2.0 stereo track on this. Again, NTSC plays fine on my player, and this is a color movie, this one not black and white. Um, yeah, that's a very, very brief description of the movie here. Um, you know, uh, George Papard plays the, plays the young sort of tycoon, um, his father does kind of having an argument with each other, kind of uh, has a heart attack or, or something, like, or a, an embolism or something, and, he kind of takes over the business, but it, it sort of turns out, so Carol Baker's character is like uh, his stepmother in the movie, but turns out like she had dated George Papard's character, Jonas Cord, and then his father kind of married her. It's this weird kind of dynamic going on there. Um, he does, he's kind of a little bit of, it's kind of like a little bit of a Howard Hughes type character. He's into everything. He, he, you know, explosive companies. He starts an airline. He buys this kind of, as it mentions here, you know, this Hollywood movie studio. Uh, he fires the, the leading actress off the movie. He brings in Carol Baker, his stepmother, as the, the lead actress and kind of, you know, kind of goes from there. And it's, um, yeah, quite interesting. Uh, Carol Baker is very good in this again. Really liked it. Um, a couple of things stood out to me. The start of the movie has like flying credits coming up to the screen like Superman in 78. Really interesting because this is 65. Um, as I said, long movie. Uh, be prepared to, to kind of sit and watch this one. Um, 
and Carol Baker's character, I, I don't want to like kind of spoil, but she kind of dies during the movie. So she's not in the last 30 to 40 minutes of the movie, but I did really enjoy this movie. I thought it was really well done and um, really interesting. And the end reveal at the end of the movie is, is really quite good, uh, quite interesting. That was The Carpet Baggers. Last movie in the set here is Harlow 1965. This is a, uh, I guess call it a biopic or a biopic, whatever you want to call it, about the actress Jean Harlow. Uh, let me just once again read real quick for you here. A screen adaptation of the blistering bestseller which examines the story of platinum blonde bombshell Jean Harlow who rose to fame in the reckless Hollywood of the 1930s. This once again is directed by George Douglas who just directed Sylvia here in this set as well. Really well done. Uh, cast includes Carol Baker, Martin Balsam, Red Buttons, Michael Connors, Angela Lansbury is in here and Peter Lawford once again. We also get a young Leslie Nielsen in there. Uh, quite interesting. Um, technical on this one, 125 minutes long. 2.35 to 1 scope aspect ratio Dolby Digital 2 channel stereo NTSC plays fine on my player once again and this is a colour movie so you're getting two black and white two colour really interesting um, yeah very very interesting movie Carol Baker was fantastic in this one really really enjoyed it um, I came away with an interest in Jean Harlow um, she was only an actress for like I think about 9 years she died really really young 26 she died from kidney failure um, it's a quite sad story to look up the actual the real story um, I think in the movie they kind of changed some stuff around towards the end when when Jean passes away in the movie played by Carol Baker but um, yeah it's interesting to look up the, the like the true story of this one and um, yeah a nice movie to round off the set here yeah so this is a fantastic set from Via Vision Carol Baker the Paramount Collection I really like really highly recommend this if you're into kind of old Hollywood movies this covers Carol Baker's rise from 59 to 65 and as I mentioned Mentioned earlier in 66 she would kind of leave Hollywood uh, with a contract dispute it's a nice varied kind of compilation of roles for her in this in this collection the Paramount collection really really interesting to see I would like I would come away from this wanting to see more of our movies I'm going to keep an eye out to add some more to the collection and um, really interesting actress and the movies were quite interesting as well and um, the tone and some of them is quite you know like the two but not for me and um, carpet baggers has kind of you know you want to be an actress you're going to have to sleep with the studio head and there's, there's a lot of that going on you know like old hollywood stuff all those all that all that kind of stuff going on so um it is really interesting um and she would take some kind of controversial roles as well in her career so uh, you can kind of see some of this leading into that so it's, it's really really interesting via vision have knocked it out of the park with this one guys as i showed you there earlier they've stuck them all on individual discs where this could have been like a one disc two disc set and they've put the four movies on four individual dvd discs here fantastic stuff looks great highly recommend checking this one out and adding to your collection so if you're interested in picking up a copy of Carol Baker, the Paramount Collection, I'll have a link in the description, guys, where you can head on over to Via Vision's website and grab yourself a copy of this one today. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for another video here on the Movie Vault. Of course, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and consider hitting that little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for checking out the video. I'm going to leave some videos on screen here and here for you to check out some videos you might be interested in. And I hope to see you on the next video.